Welcome back to my starting over series. I was going to ditch this um, my Gilly One rocket because uh, it's turned out to be a bit of a lemon, but then I thought, oh, you know, um, this is a starting again series and um, trying to relearn some old tricks. Um, I'll actually try to give it another chance. I'll, I'll try to do a little bit more tuning and see if I can fix up the problems with it. So pretty much straight away I decided um, it it had um, I, I, I needed to improve the uh, uh, thrust to weight ratio and the best way the quickest way of doing that and keeping the same number of engines is to just reduce the amount of fuel that you're trying to carry so I've done that you can see that I've reduced the fuel there from my last rocket um, that's okay uh, this this is the same but the the, the the boost section, the first stage, I've changed. Uh, I've reduced it quite a lot, and and to be honest, um, it didn't really make all that much difference in the overall um, delta V. So, uh, you know, can always consider. Can you think? Can I reduce fuel? Do I really? Because because re you reduce fuel, um, it it um, it increases your uh, thrust to weight ratio quite a lot. Another thing was I've been using MechJeb to do the um, delta V calculations just because it's a bit more convenient than, than this thing over here which I've been using. And if I checked the figures, they're pretty much the same so uh, i got no worries there. So let's just quickly um, analyse it. Okay, we've got an asparagus um, uh, configuration here which is equivalent to um, putting one tank here another uh, uh, sorry one booster there one another booster there and another booster there it just didn't having a huge pyramid thing it, all it does is it wraps it wraps that configuration around around the um, the axis of the rocket so but they are they are equivalent and aspar asparagus are good up to a point but they're not you know they they they're not magic they won't make um they won't make stuff appear out of nowhere Anyway, I've done that, and also put nose cones on. And I was in the past, I've I've found that putting nose cones on can actually make it a little bit worse. But I tested it, and it actually gave me. I was quite surprised at the difference. It was almost a hundred meters per second um, during the boost phase. So I've been running some experiments. So yeah, I've left them on, so they're worth the wait. Um, I think the, the dynamic, the aerodynamic model may have changed a little bit in 1.7. It just seems a little different to me, but I don't know. That's just me. That's my own experience. So, um, running this new configuration through the analyzer, um, we look, we see the um, stage seven. We've now got a fr thrust to weight ratio of over two. Um, which is which is okay. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. And the one above that, after we drop drop two engines, uh, it goes down to one one point eight. Then it goes down to one point four. And once we get to the fourth uh, fourth stage, which is basically um, uh, oh oh yeah, that, no, that's right. Uh, this one here. Because uh, they, they sort of number them a little bit differently. It's I know it's confusing, but uh, seven six. Basically, this rocket here, this this um, this booster here. Sorry, no, 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 no. Back up a step. Sorry, this one in the middle here is is number um, is number four. So that's that's the, that one there. Sorry, you can immediately see we've got problems. Point six eight, which is. In, and you're still going to be still inside an atmosphere, so that's that's inadequate. <laughs> that's that's um, that's worse than uh, marginal. That's that's just not right. The the rocket will start to slow down. Um, it could start to slow down because depending on how it's angled at the time, um, because you know you're you're not even keeping up with gravity there. Uh, in itself, it may not be a bad thing. It depends where the rocket is in its flight, but 
if you get something like that and you're still inside an atmosphere, you've got to, alarm bells have got to go off straight away that, that maybe there's going to be an issue there. Um, Alright, so I did that. And I, I also, um, I've been just trying to tweak. Anyway, we'll just run it. It's quick, quick if I just run it and we can see what happens. Um, I've also been tweaking the... Um, I've been using my script too to get consistent results. Just, just, just because I'm I'm tuning the rocket, I can fly it better, better manually than it's doing. But um, I just wanted to try to get a baseline feel for what was going on. So um, we'll just launch it and go. Oh, I um, uh, should have said. Um, uh, oh, it doesn't doesn't really matter. It's pretty it's pretty obvious what I've done. Okay, we've still got a few wobbles there, but uh, you can see I've added strutting around this problematic joint here. I've also strutted the um, top and bottom of each of these uh, sections here. And even it's caused, still causing the, even the camera to wobble. The reason why it causes the camera, when I say camera I mean kind of the viewpoint. I don't know, the, the te Teco guys call it a camera. Um, you know, when you do, oh they call it a camera there too, so there you go. Um, usually um, it's on auto but the camera tries to point at the center of mass of the uh, the rocket right of your vessel the complete vessel that's why it's where it is and the thing is it um, it's kind of the the count call, it's 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 not really the rocket itself that's wobbling it's kind of the calculations that are wobbling <laughs> Because um, there's there's something not 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 quite right there, and it's it's oh it's because of a, it's a wobbly rocket too. It 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 keeps trying to um, figure out where its center of mass is, and it it, it can't quite do it because the um, the rocket is moving around in inverted commas. Now, even though you can see a flag fluttering there, don't be fooled by that. There is no wind on Kerbin. The um, the atmosphere is a slab, <laughs> basically. I that really threw me when I first started playing. I thought I was trying to allow for, I was trying to tilt the rocket to allow for the wind, <laughs> and then somebody told me, oh, you know, there's no wind on Kerbin. I said, what? The, look at that. <laughs> I said, oh, that's just just a, just a flag animation. I thought, like, oh no, you got to be kidding me. Oh well, that that's that's um that's that's Kerbin for you. That's um KSP for you. Anyway, yeah, there's no there's no wind. The um the atmosphere is is basically a, s a solid slab of mathematics and nothing else. Um, that's why they keep they keep tweaking tweaking it too. <laughs> it's between some releases, just to drive you totally insane. Um, anyway, let's just launch it and uh, you'll see. Anyway, you wouldn't normally do this. I mean, uh, I'm wasting my time, right? Eh, just build a bigger rocket. <laughs> you know, don't don't fuss around with these margins. It's, it's not it's not worth your time unless you're doing it for fun, and I'm doing it for fun right now. Get an episode out of it, and I learn a little bit as I go too. So it's it, it, the lessons learnt may be relevant somewhere else. Oh, another thing is because I've been so slack at collecting science. Um, uh, these are basically the biggest rocket parts I've got other than the solid boosters. So if I'd been a bit more aggressive and using mystery goos and thermometers and stuff like that and just running around the, the KSC I, I could have probably opened up a few more nodes by now and gotten some bigger rockets. So yeah, yeah normally you'd just just build a bigger rocket and not, not move on with your life. But um, this is, so this is basically rocket tuning. What I'm doing, but it's totally a waste of time. I've said, said, made that point about three times now. Alrighty, so we're gonna we're gonna turn at about nine kilometers. Right, uh, that gives us time to build up a, a decent bit of uh, forward velocity. Yeah, you see, it's still wobbling a bit there, but it's not, it's it's bearable. It's only because I strutted it; it was just all over the shop, um, all over the shop until I did that. So you can see it shows up on the nav balls. Well you can see the poor old 
Cook Steering is trying trying to keep it straight. I'm struggling a little bit there. Backwards and forwards. Alright. It's all very pre very pretty when you got these asparagus um, clusters. And the other thing is you um because I'm turning so aggressively, um and at, at certain points I'll be actually actually I'll leave I'll leave leave that on. There you go. That's that's just just absolute madness. It may not even survive. Oh uh, no, it didn't even survive. Okay. Alright. So what I want to do, um it's because the rocket hadn't had time to readjust um after turning um, that that the uh, failure occurred so to, to fix that up I would um, ac actually make it turn quit sooner uh, trust me on this it, it should I haven't tried it yet but let's just see if it actually works I'll actually I'll drop it down so it's turning at 9 I'll, I'll, I'll turn it at 8 that's a form of tuning and that might introduce some other problems you never know but th this is uh it's all about tuning you've got to kind of find a baseline and then make one change at a time one change at a time and then test test um test your results so let's just say eight see if that's good enough And see if it makes any difference and scribble down scribble down your results too don't forget about spreadsheets I just I've just got a um, an A4 um, notebook um, that's all I ever write anything in that way I I can always refer back to it if if I wrote down something important I can always go and find it again which is hardly ever <laughs> so doing spreadsheets and that well if you're a spreadsheet cowboy go go for it but I can't be asked Uh, right. Okay, now it's going to turn, start turning at eight, which hopefully um, will give it enough time to stabilise before the um, the boosters drop off. Because as I said, I don't know. If I've got a lot of editing to do. I've got about three hours of um, of footage already and I've got to cut that right down to 30 minutes somehow um, if you want these um, stages to drop off cleanly then you basically got to align your um, the where the rocket is pointing where the with the velocity so they, they they'll drop straight straight down along the rocket instead of say cutting across the rocket and I haven't got anything fancy like them um, set separator trons or whatever they call those bloody things I, I, I hate them I, I only use them out of desperation if I can avoid using them I do because they're pains in the ass okay we turned a, a lot sooner let's hope that they we line up better see we're lining up already up oh, still no good oh damn it um okay we uh, drop drop it down another thousand it seems seems to be turning okay though now because it's it's turning okay now because the extra thrust to weight ratio so yet sometimes you make an improvement and it has a it um it has a um a knock on effect um and also it can go the other go the other way as well um you make something worse and it makes two things worse <laughs> so let's let's drop it down to to seven actually um, let's make it six but I got increments are getting too small you know you you, you make big change bigger bigger changes and then you narrow them down if you you want to do that sort of tuning all right so we'll turn it about six okay How are we going for time? Lots of time. Let me 
Just double check. Six, yeah. Hopefully it'll turn at 6 and then settle down into its new um, trajectory and these two things will line up again and dropping the stage won't destroy the rocket. Okay, turning. Turning, 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 turning. Ow. Okay, let's see if they line up before, before it runs out. Ooh, oh, we're close, we're close. Yes, did it. <laughs> it's all very pretty to watch the stages falling away. I love it. I could watch it all day. Alrighty. I don't that's something something blowing up. Oh it's, it's stuff hitting down hitting down there. Okay, so our rate of our rate of climb is still pretty healthy. Um I, I forgot, totally forgot. It's this gauge here gives you a rate of um, vertical ascent. You also watch that. You see that your um, you want to see that your apoapsis is climbing. Um, otherwise, you get that um, that thing where you you catch up to your apoapsis, which is ne never never a good look. When you're trying to get into orbit, it usually means it's not going to work. Not always, but usually. Yeah, it's even here. It's sort of um, starting to. Ooh, there we go. Um, so now this is the, the this is the um, the stage that's underpowered, and it's already getting some uh, drag effects. But we're still climbing. Let's just see how far we get. Um, let's see how far we get. It might be enough, but it, I think this section here is is just. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick some really solid solid boosters onto this one, <laughs> maybe, uh, just to give it a, another kick. I could I could honestly put another engine if I was really desperate. You just you just hang them hang them off. Um, you just hang them off the side um, using little tanks. But um, yeah, so this has probably had it. We've caught up to our apoaps. Yeah, we've passed it pretty much, and um, it's not rising up fast enough. And we're still in the atmosphere, so yeah, this rocket is doomed. Yeah, it's it's because it's um met the the middle stage is is just not 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 um not powerful enough. It's got plenty of fuel, but um yeah that rock that rocket's gonna die. I uh, won't even bother. Um, all right, okay, gave it my best shot. Um, so let's just think. Um, trouble is putting anything inside there is. Uh, well nigh impossible. What can I do to change it? I wonder if I could leave one of these, maybe leave these, the last two stages attached. That, that, that might work. Yeah, yeah, actually, that might, that might work. Just change the staging or not. Because you're throwing away engines, that's the trouble. Um, well you do, on, on, you're throwing away engines on a multi-stage rocket anyway, but, but maybe, we can we can hold on to those. We've got seem to have plenty of fuel. Um, yeah, let's just hang on to those. Like the last two. Yeah, why not? All right. So um, to do that, okay, it's going to drain. It's going to drain that way. They do. They do. Mm, uh, drains that way. But then, can we stop it draining? The fuel draining? Probably not. Because yeah, that's 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 the um, that's the way the fuel flows. Um, yeah, I don't think you can pull little stunts like that. Um, the other thing is, to, um, giving it more fuel is just going to make it worse. So we can't really add more fuel in there. Um, We do. It'd be lovely to be not drop drop those off, but the the what I'm saying is the tanks are gonna 
I think the tanks will drain. Well, the tanks are draining. That's what kick kicks off the uh, staging. Um, the software is um, smart enough to know that these are these are separate stages. Um, without getting too fancy. Um, You know, if all else fails, you just stick another another set of um, solid rocket boosters, add a, add an extra stage in effect, and have everything go up um, um, like a bat out of hell, and hope that it gets high enough that the low thrust does not matter. Um, we can't. Yeah, I don't want to sacrifice any weight just here because I think I need all of it. I, I reckon we're we're going to be short if we want to get back. Um, but we'll leave that problem to another day. What can I do to, to just... Um, yeah, if I could retain that, but... Um, I don't know if I can... I don't think I can control that from the staging. I could... Um, you know, if, if, if I, I wanted them to just stay there, that's easy. I just take take that out but um, or um, just not it not even do that just just disable I think I can just disable it um, enable crossfeed um, actually I don't know if I can actually stop those um, those sections destate Enable crossfeed. Hmm. That means the um, even though the the fuel runs that way, it will also run that way. I wonder if that would work. I don't know if I can uh, um, So if I enable the crossfeed, it means this will never run out. Um, these ones will because the fuel is only flowing in one direction. But uh, oh, the, oh, the trouble is, um, I think if I because I've used symmetry, if you change one, you change them both. I guess the thing I could do is is just add another fuel flow going back the other way, another fuel pipe. <laughs> it'll look, it'll look a bit strange, but um, it might work. It might work. Yeah, I think if I change one one of these these decouplers, it's going to change all of them because I've put them on symmetrically. Now I'm not going to put them on um, freehand. That I don't know. I'm just not good enough to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, because yeah, they because if I change one, it's going to change them all, and um, they 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 will all um. They will all drain. Yeah, I think I could probably just put in another pipe. And that'd be the way that I'd do it. Uh, like that, if I can find an, a good spot to do it. Oh, this. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I'll do. I'll do one. Yeah. Uh oh. Um, and it seems to have. You gotta look at the arrows. Oh yeah, no, they're pointing the right way. Yeah, yeah. Always kind of just give a visual kind of look. Um, and um, that one's the last one there as well. <laughs> I don't think I've tried anything like this before. Did it change my staging in any way? It doesn't appear to have. Um, and I need to just take. I need to take that out. I just. I think I just removed the stage. Uh, I hope that doesn't dis discombobulate something else. Um, like that. Oh, just kind of left it there, didn't it? 
Uh huh. Why not? Can I just um? It's fighting back. Um. Shift. All right. I I just move it to um. I could probably just move it out of the way. Actually, yeah, I'll just just move it to here. So they 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 because then it won't make any difference because I'll all just drop at the same time. Hmm. Let's try that. Okay. All right. Um. Did that really change anything? You got to check. That you didn't sort of foul something up. Um. No, probably not. They're all now got a positive thrust to weight ratio, so yeah, let's just. Oh, I'm curious to see what happens now. Let's f just fly it and go for it. Yeah. set gone just so you can see what's going on my rocket left <laughs> yeah they're draining e equally it seems to have worked all right fingers crossed they've lined up again rate of climb is good Count my chickens before they hatch. Yeah, it's pretty tight, only 40 43 seconds. I wouldn't normally leave it um, that close. Yeah, it's gotten ahead of it a little bit. about a G of acceleration there. I don't I don't really understand yeah, it's a bit, bit of a puzzle that one. But I'm not worried about a, a few thermal effects. It's only 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 overheating. We're we're rap rapidly running out of fuel now though. Um mm. uh, maybe we don't have enough fuel to get to orbit. Probably not. Um Okay, we fix up one problem and probably okay. Um, we didn't quite reach. I'll do this, um, and also it didn't. Um, it didn't fire. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, it's it's a bust. It doesn't have enough um, delta V now. 
I uh, probably never did. But, uh, we got up, um, yeah, we got up to about. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to burn the stage at all, and um, to be quite honest, it's a lander engine, so it's we're still going up though. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. You you can use low thrust engines, but you've got to use them in um. You gotta use them at the right time. I mean, we will make orbit, um, but use a little bit of this this um, the fuel here, and I was planning not to use any, so I was going to keep it for the transfer stage. All right. Okay, we've um, we got our our, our apps. We're just cruising to the edge of the atmosphere now. So we will get into orbit, but it's going to, to do the circularization, it's going to burn up a fair bit. And I, I didn't even think to um, write the figures down, so I don't even know what the figures are. Alright, so we don't we don't have enough delta V now. <laughs> <laughs> Got to add an extra, extra couple of tanks somewhere. So the cycle continues. Okay, get it. Oh, it's only... It's... Because our angle was so aggressive, um, we've only got 165. Yeah, I guess I haven't really, I haven't really um, put much of a dent in it in the fuel. It's just just doesn't feel very satisfactory, does it? Because we, um, it was just kind of such 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 a mess. I, yeah, I wanted I wanted that um, first stage to basically. Um, drop away um, after we got to um, after we got into a circular orbit because you use a little bit more fuel here a little bit more fuel there before you know it you know it, you've got absolutely no chance of getting to your destination and why um, why hasn't it fired Okay, that's a bit weird. Something's gone wrong. Oh well, um, no, all right, some, something, something went, um, something has gone. It's probably because I fired that, that stage manually. It's confused my program. All right, okay, well, I won't, um, I think you get the idea anyway, so I'll finish this episode off, um, and I'll keep playing it, just want to play around with it a little bit more, but um, uh, the rest, I could, I could, I could, I could record that I guess, but um, nah, it'll just get, it'll just get longer and longer if I do that, um, and people will never watch my video. Okay, catch you next episode.